Today we're in Wyandotte Winery in Columbus, Ohio. There is a lot of great heritage associated with this winery. Isn't this a beautiful display rack? But haven't you wondered how the wine gets this way? So come on, let's go downstairs and check out their cellar. The first thing you'll notice is that they have a great display of all their different wines. Here is their secret flowchart on how they make excellent wine. Look at all the different variety of grapes. Each will be the base for a different type of wine. The crushed grapes are releasing the juice, also called the must, into the primary fermentation container. Typically this stays covered for 7 to 10 days. Another tank in the back, let's check that one out too. A couple of grape crushers to extract the juice from the grapes. Here are their holding tanks. They range from about 100 gallons to 250 gallons, and most of them are full. Now there's a lot of science behind making good wine need to add sugars or yeast to get the right consistency in alcohol. These are oak chips which have replaced the old oak barrels. A few different types of wine sitting in the carboys. To rack all that wine you need some heavy duty hoses. These are floor corkers. I found these under their stairs. These are old labels. This is their label dispenser. Down here they have cases upon cases of wine and I just had to grab a couple out and show them to you. Numerous awards for some really good wine. As you can see, they have a great process to make a great wine. I want to close by showing you something that they have down in their cellar. Thanks for watching. Now get out and explore.